happening today, you can have a say in the future of Medicaid in Kansas. It's called CanCare. It's really important, and more than 15% of Kansans use the program. Thousands of people get their health care from this. KSHB 41 News reporter Charlie Keegan joins us live to break this down for us. Charlie. Lindsay and Taylor, I want to run you through a scenario. Pretend that I'm a salesman selling pins. Well, I can register with the federal government as a LLC, LLP, sole proprietor, corporation, right? You don't care. You just want to be able to buy that pin. Well, now think of me as the state of Kansas and the pin as Medicaid. The state of Kansas has the chance to change how it categorizes itself with the federal government but it insists you'll still be able to buy the pin. It says that the Medicaid eligibility requirements, the Medicaid benefits will all remain the same. So what does change if Kansas changes its categorization with the federal government? Kansas says it'll have more control over how to spend money from the federal government, and it could control how it spends that money on things like uh, s staffing shortages, on things like salaries for in-home health care workers on things like uh, wait times and wait lists to get in-home health care workers. We had a chance to hear from one woman last week or last month, excuse me, who says she's dealing with uh, labor shortages that's keeping her from having a home health care worker to help out her daughter. My first ask is to strongly consider raising the pay for home care nurses to reduce the extreme disparity and draw nurses to the home health field. All children have a right to train nurses for quality care. All right, so why are we talking about this today? Well, today at 1 o'clock and 6 o'clock, there are two virtual meetings where you can give your feedback on how you think the state of Kansas should register with the federal government to offer those Medicaid benefits. Uh, there will be in-person meetings beginning next week, including one right here at the KCK Technical Education Center behind me, which is where uh, that meeting is also taking place from 1 to 6 next Tuesday. Back to you guys.